Hello YouTube! Thought today I could do a quick walk around of my converted CNC X2 mini mill. So this mill started out as a little machine shop, solid column, uh, X2 mill. It is the slightly upgraded version of the one they sell at Harbor Freight. Big Red. Uh, this thing goes on sale for I think just under $500 at the door and for that price it's a decent little machine um, but the fit and finish is nowhere as good as little machine shop variants so though you do pay a little more up front I think it's well worth it because you get out of the box a machine that's ready to run instead of a machine kit like over there uh, so the first step in the upgrade was uh, getting a CNC Fusion uh, CNC upgrade kit and that came with the uh, fancy engraved XYZ blocks. Uh, they have uh, Thompson Micron ball screws and uh, Lovejoy X50 couplers to tie it into the motor. There's the uh, coupler on the back. The uh, preloaded uh, backlash, anti backlash thrust bearings. Um, all in all, it's a fairly nice kit. A uh, little spendy, but the installation was, was flawless, very easy. Um, had no problems getting it adjusted and running fine. Um, I have had um, debris. Uh, collect on this screw and it's a little bit crunchy now, but uh, that was completely my fault um, As for the electronics, I decided to go with the Gecko 540 I believe it is and that's that's hiding down there on a bracket with a With just a chunk of aluminum serving as a heat sink. It's got some generic um, eBay power supply unit it seems to do the fine job just fine uh, the G540 gets a little warm at times, but um, not excessively so. It's been absolutely flawless. Um, I have nothing but good things to say about that. And of course running a copy of Mach 3. Uh, my program chain is usually uh, draft site, then goes to CamBam, and then into Mach 3. That's also been a fairly good and low-cost solution. Um, so this machine was all well and good. Um, I found that realistically with the stock 500 watt uh, spindle motor, the most you can turn was really about a quarter inch uh, tool bit. So to that end, um, I upgraded the spindle motor to one of these China eBay uh, VFDs. This is, I think, a 1.5 kilowatt air-cooled spindle. Uh, I chose that one specifically because it had the larger ER16 collet, and uh, I've actually sort of standardized on ER16 for um, all the tool holders I can. But um, the the air cooling seems to work fine. I've let this run for like a couple hours on end. It only gets a little warm to the touch. The, uh, the VFD, although the manual is complete gibberish, the information is there and more importantly the information is out there on the internets. So this has been pretty flawless as well. Um, the uh, red casting was also from Little Machine Shop and I just bought the replacement part and then bored out the 80 millimeter hole and that's just held in with uh, set screws but if I was going to do some real heavy cutting on this I would make a uh, aluminum clamp that clamps around this nose probably at the top as well and then bolts down and up into the casting using the existing uh, holes but um, I've just been doing relatively light cutting with this and that has not been a problem um, it does a wonderful job on plastic um, I found some Kyocera single flute uh, end mills on eBay for fairly cheap and uh, they hold up great, they just chew up the plastic and they work pretty well in aluminum. 
But what prompted me to shoot this video was working on this part, which is uh, normalized chromoly steel, 4140. And um, the bit is a, let's see if I can get a good shot of that, is a three millimeter four flute that I got off of eBay and I think it cost a whopping like $1.50 or $2. But um, this thing running at 12K, it just eats up this chromoly steel. It's put a, a tiny little annular groove down in there. And using the big machine, maxing it out at I think 4200, it was just snapping these little bits left and right. And really, you almost can't get a bigger bit down in there. So um, I'm fairly impressed. Um, it, it was a kind of long cycle time. It's uh, 45 minutes. It was cutting a lot of air. There's a lot of improvement to be made there. But at uh, 20 thou depth of cut, 6 uh, IPM and 12K RPM, it's just eating up the steel. So there's that. Um, it, the biggest improvement has, has been in the high-speed spindle. Um, that has taken this from what was kind of a, a toy machine to something that can actually be pretty functional and actually sometimes surpasses the ability of the big boy over there. So, um, all in all, this has been a really good project. I've learned a whole lot. Um, and it just keeps going and getting better. So if anybody has desire to have a fabrication ability on desktop, um, this is a pretty good method to go about it. Although, I think there may be better alternatives now that uh, China is putting out even more low-cost, um, high-speed, high-power mills like this. Uh, Righto-oot. <laughs>